Alright hey guys, <clears throat> haven't made a video in a while so I figured I'd show you this. I'm going to show you how to update from any uh, custom firmware on a PSP 1000 or older 2000 to 6.60 MEV1. Uh, this is only going to work on older 2000s and 1000 models and it uh you have to be in CFW to get it to work so don't try to do this on official firmware so I'll show you first of all I am on 639 Pro B8 and this is a PSP 1000 so let's hook up to the computer and get the files on our PSP Alright, when you open up your PSP, open up the PSP folder, and then the game folder. And hold on, let me just get to... Oh, wait a minute, I deleted it. Uh... Alright, this will be the file in the description. You just want this folder right here, the update folder. Drag that over into your game folder and drop that in there. And then you can disconnect. Now if you go over here, you'll have PSP update version 660. Hit X on that. Now this is going to say Of course you can't see it. It says 660 PBP doesn't exist. Do you want to download it from the internet? You hit X for yes. And then it will bring up the network connection and download the 660 update. So you, you know, connect to the internet. can't see it but it says uh, file size 31 megabytes and then it says downloading you can probably get a look at it there I'm not going to cut out while it's downloading I'm just going to let it download it'll only take a second well, remember don't try to do this on your PSP 3000s and then com comment that you bricked or you, you know you did this or you did that I don't want to hear it. It's for 1000s and old 2000s only. Uh, there's a few plugins that have already been patched for this firmware. I'm sure there's plenty more to come. Neuron is a boss when it comes to patching, uh, patching up plugins, so I'm sure he'll patch quite a few. I saw uh, Audio Boost and PSP States have already been patched, so I'm sure it's just a matter of time before they patch some other stuff. I'm sure it's only a matter of time before this is, uh, when you see a 660 Pro come out. I'm sure that'll happen eventually. Alright, it's about 75% down now. Alright, now it says it saved the file and it's returning to the updater. Your PSP has to be at 78% charged for this to work. Otherwise, you'll have to charge your PSP up to 78%. Alright, it says press X to start the update, press R to exit, press X. It says starting the updater, wait.
Oh, yeah, PSP system software 660. Accept that. Press X to start. Now, this is the first stable release of this, but uh, Neuron even comments that it is a little risky. So, uh, you guys try this at your own risks. And hopefully you have a Pandora handy if something, something goes amiss during this process. My Pandora is over there on my bureau. Just in case. But I doubt that will be necessary. Alright, update completed, press X to restart. Go ahead and press X. Sixty ME. That. that is six sixty custom firmware. Thanks to Neuron. Let's make those to into recovery. You get your full recovery menu here. All the uh, all the bells and whistles of a normal recovery menu. Everything you could uh, everything you could ask for. This is based off of uh, M33, so you know it's good. Yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, make sure you check out uh, SneakyCodes.tk. For all your uh, PSP updates and hacks and whatnot. And make sure you check out sneaky media.com for ISO, CSO downloads, movie downloads for your PSP, all sorts of fun stuff on there. So, yeah, that's about it for today. Sworn Leader, signing out.